didn't see you guys there. I was just... Happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, my friends. Thank you for joining me. It's uh, just a quick video. I just wanted to wish you guys a very happy Valentine's Day and just tell you I love you so much. Hope you have a great day. Hope you have a special day today. And uh, I just wanted to say thank you for loving me, warts and all. You know, sometimes you hear people say this, right? I need someone who loves me, warts and all. Do you know what that means? What does this mean? Warts and all. Have you heard that before? Well, a wart is um, kind of like a skin. It's something on your skin, right? Uh, so here you can see someone's foot. Like warts can can uh, can appear anywhere on your body. I think you can have a wart typically on like your hands or feet, um, maybe face. I'm not sure. I don't really even know what a wart is. Um, it's some kind of a skin issue. You can Google pictures of, of warts and you'll find a lot of pictures and you, you'll probably be able to figure out what a wart is. Um, some kind of an in, infection just just in one spot. It's like a lump. It's like a little like a bump, a spot on your skin. I don't really know how to explain it, but I'm sure you guys know the answer. You can figure out the answer better than me. Um, so like a wart is seen as an imperfection. Right. So when people say, you know, I, I need someone who, who loves me warts and all, it kind of means this. I need someone who loves me despite my imperfections. Right. I mean, we all have imperfections, right? Physical imperfections, you know, maybe. I mean, who defines what an imperfection is, right? Is a wart an imperfection? I don't know. But. It's, it's seen as that, right? That's why people say, uh, you know, warts and all. So if I say, thank you for loving me, warts and all, I don't actually mean that I have warts. I actually don't have any. I don't think I have any warts, okay? Some people have warts. I don't think I've ever had a wart. I don't know. But, um, but it's an idiom. Like, it's an idiom that means imperfections, right? So... So if someone loves you warts and all, that means they just love you despite your imperfections, you know, physical or, I don't know, warts, warts and all. I think it just generally means just any kind of imperfection. Like it could be your character, something in your character, your personality um, or your physical body or something. So, so anyway, <laughs> it's just I wanted to teach you that word. I thought maybe... That'd be interesting for you guys. Maybe you don't know what, because these words like a war, the word wart, it's a very specific word, right? You could, you could have been learning English for 10 years and you've never heard that word, right? So that's why you guys come to Mad English TV to find out these kind of specific words, right? I love teaching these kinds of things. So um, oh, I was just going to share a funny joke that I, I actually shared on Instagram this morning. Hey, if you're not... Uh, if you're not following me on Instagram, um, just search for Mad English TV on Instagram and you guys will find me there. But um, so it says when your milk has a Valentine's Day date and you <laughs> you don't when your milk has a Valentine's Day. See, you can see the expiry date here is February 14th, which is Valentine's Day and um, <laughs> and you don't. So do, do, you, do you get it? Um, Basically, the word date can have two meanings, right? A date can be a person or a day on the calendar, right? So, I mean, let's say someone asks you out on a date on, val on Valentine's Day. And they say, hey, will you be my date? Then it's talking about the person. You Then you are the date. If I ask you to be my date, you are my date. And we might go on, let's say, Friday or Saturday or, or Valentine's Day. That's a date on the calendar, right? So the word date has two me. Actually, I could have another meaning. The date is a, also a fruit that grows in the Middle East. Do you? I love dates. Do you love dates? Um, they're a weird fruit. <laughs> they're really sweet. Really, really sweet. But you know what an interesting thing about dates are? 
I love dates because they don't go moldy. Uh, maybe eventually they go moldy. Let me know if you if you're from the Middle East or if you know about dates. Let me know down in the comments. But I have had dates. I mean, like I have a bag of dates right now in my kitchen that I've been slowly eating over the past few months. I eat like maybe one date a day or two a day. I think I bought that bag like three months ago. And I mean, they're just fine. They taste great as, as good as the day I opened them. So dates last a long time. Whereas if you buy like, let's say an orange or um, what other kind of fruit, you know, the fruits that go bad really fast. Strawberries are a bad one. You know, you buy strawberries one day and then like two days later, they're moldy. Right, you leave a strawberry out on your counter for like two days, it's going to be moldy, right? So strawberries go moldy really fast, but dates just don't. I don't think they ever do. So that's kind of an interesting thing about dates. That's what I, I, I really like that about dates. Maybe figs would be another one. Now, figs aren't really a common food here in Canada, so I'm I'm not really sure. I don't think I've ever eaten a a fresh fig I've just eaten dried figs. Do people eat fresh figs? Have you ever eaten a fresh fig? I don't even know what a fresh fig looks like. But um, yeah, I like those kind of fruits, those kind of like Mediterranean, Middle Eastern kind of fruits. Um, yeah, they're awesome. Honey is another food that doesn't go bad. I mean, you can have honey for just sitting, sitting out for like thousands of years. I don't think it goes bad. So... Those kind of foods are, are amazing. It's crazy that like a date, what, what, what makes a date not go moldy? It's sugar, just like a strawberry sugar, but it's a completely different thing, right? And uh, I like those kind of foods that don't go moldy. They're awesome. So friends, um, let's do some homework. <laughs> I just want to know, what are your Valentine's Day plans? Do you have anything special? What do you usually do for Valentine's Day? Hopefully it's a special day for you. Even if you're single, maybe it's Independence Day for you, not Valentine's Day. Hey, it's uh, great just to be by yourself. Like I am here in Calgary, just here all by my, all by my lonesome. <laughs> lonesome? Sometimes people say that, I think, all by my lonesome. Just means all by yourself. Right, I'm just all by myself here in my house in Calgary. Just gonna celebrate the day. Hey, I'll celebrate the day by eating some dates. <laughs> That's awesome. So if someone asks me, hey, did you have a date? I'll say, yes, I did have a date. I had two dates. So if you uh, if you're lonely, if you're all by yourself today, friends, go buy yourself a bag of dates and uh, eat some dates, and you can tell everybody you had some nice some nice dates on valentine's day so guys that's it for today just wanted to um to send you all my love and hope you're having a great day god bless you stay safe with you and your family wherever whatever you have not can't speak right whatever you end up doing today i uh, hope it's a great day so thanks again and i'll <laughs> as always i'll see you over in the next episode of mad english tv Take care.